Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Greased and Gassed. So tonight we are at Calder Park in Victoria. So this is a fast Friday uh, legal off street drag meet. So it means that anyone can come down here on a Friday night, bring it down, pay at the gate, go through scrutineering and you can race your car. So as long as it passes through scrutineering, you're set to go. It's about $75 to enter if you're gonna come down or you can come down as a spectator and there's food and drinks here. And So if you wanna go and see what's happening down here, this is where it happens on a Friday night. As long as the weather's good, it's generally on. So some people will have seen Calder Park. We had a video on the page as well um, from the 1991 Easter Nat. So we've got one of the cars here from that event that's here racing tonight. So there's some really, really cool cars here tonight and there's a really good variety. We've got hot rods, we've got Monaros, Tiranas, Commodores, we've got a little bit of everything. So let's start racing and uh, we'll get some of those cars on.
Oh, gee, we're going to get some interruptions as this goes through because we're standing at Calder Park, as we said at the start of the show. Hodgie, we have put up a video on Facebook that I'm sure now you've been shown of your car at the 91 Nationals at Calder. And here it is again here tonight. So it's it's really funny that it's been two weeks. It's been up there and it's been 100,000 hits on our Facebook page with that video. So tell us, tell us about your car. Tell us how long it's been on the road for, how long you've had it. Tell us all. I uh, bought this back in 83. Yep. Off uh, a grandfather from Werribee. One owner. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Was it originally a V8 or is it a six cylinder? Uh, it's a genuine V8. Genuine V8, yep. 307 Power Glide yep. from the factory. Yep. And uh, we stuffed a small block 350 in it. Yep. Made it go fast. That's what you do with Monaros, yep. And then uh, when they changed the rules here for uh, Super Street from 12 0 to 11 0. Yep. We built another engine to make more horsepower to run the 11 0. Okay, so you were running an 11 in 83. We ran 11 in 90. We were in 11 0 in 90. In 90. So that's a pretty fast car in 1990. Way back then, yes. Yeah, back then. So, okay, so anyone watching this, I mean, everyone goes, like, everyone looks now and goes, oh, everyone's doing a nine second pass. But an 11 was huge in 1990. That was, yeah, that was like, a fast was on, car. That was on street tyres as well. Yeah, exactly. So that's, sticks, so that's good. So, now that is a really good time back then. So, you painted it just before we the painted. Nationals in that video? Just before. Just before. It's the same paint it's got now. Same paint it's got now. That's pretty cool. Now, as you'll get around the car, when we saw this car come in today, we were like, how awesome is that? It's got great stance, big tyres, it's got flared guards. And then you open the door and we saw we saw the, the words got from my head, diamond plate. Yep. Diamond plate door trips and you just go, it hasn't been changed. Oh, bloody rotors. <laughs> Sorry rotors. Sorry, greasy gas is bad everything. But um, no, it, it's cool to see a car that hasn't been changed. Because so many times, you know, the, the 90s, they changed and everyone changed everything. It's, it's so cool to see that you've kept the car 100% the way it was. It's old like me. Yeah, no, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing. Classics. They're classics. classics. So you've never raced anything else. It's always been, this is what everyone knows you for. This one here, yeah. But no, how cool is that? So what was it? What would have been your first year you actually raced here? 1983. 1983 was the first year you raced. So in that video, did you actually drive on the, on the Thunderdome in that video as well? Would you yeah. have been out there? Yeah. So, okay, so a lot of people with Calder would not, may or may not know, it used to be a NASCAR Thunderdome here. So the NASCARs actually used to drive here and they used to let you drive out there on the track as well. So that's pretty cool to say, there's not that many people have driven on it unless you've been coming to Calder for years. Well, yeah, we used to use that track to cool the car down between rounds in uh, national meetings. See what I mean? This is the sort of stuff you went here when you've been talking to people who've been racing here for ages. I don't think you're going to be here much if we keep going, so we'll, uh, we'll keep moving on. But we're going to get some footage of you racing. We'll be showing that probably as we're, as we're talking. It'll probably, it's probably playing as well at the same time. But uh, what, do you, what have you run today? Uh, I ran 1140 just before, 1140. but the track's, track's a bit slippery. So. A bit slippery out there, yeah. Well, you're, you're doing better than I am, so. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Which isn't hard. Com comes with experience. It does. So I'm out here learning with these guys as well, and, and, they're, and they're giving some advice too, which is great to see. They've been doing it for a lot longer than some of the people out here, so when they give advice, it's, that's really good too and appreciate it. So, as, as long as you're having fun. That's right. That's exactly that's right. Meeting people about. out here, it's awesome. So get on down to Calder if you, are, if you ever see it on, because like I said, you'll see these cars racing out here. Well, thanks for being on the show. No worries. We'll get thanks some for racing.
Okay, we have found Quinton here. We've we've managed to like get some of his time because he's been tuning away at this car. Because you've been doing good times tonight. What's your times you've been running tonight? Oh, we've only got down the track once oh. without too much wheel spin. <laughs> so no, it, um, track was a bit hot at the start of the yep. night. So yep. Uh, yeah, just um, play with a few things then. Ran at 8.0 then. So. 8.0. And so obviously now a lot of people are going to know the car from Drag Challenge. Mm -hmm. So what times did you run there? Are that uh, about the same. About the yeah, same. Yeah, we've so got one seven just pretty, in the sevens pretty, at Swan Hills. Pretty consistent. So, yeah. so that's what you're aiming more now to get in the sevens? Yeah, I'll put heaps in it now. So if yeah. the track's good enough and holds it, we'll go. should All go pretty right. good. So if you ever see Quinton's car out, that's what he's trying to get into the sevens. So, okay, so tell us LH, four door. Yep. What's in it? Uh, it's got a twin turbo LS. Twin turbo LS. Yep. There we go. And how long have you had the car for? Uh, since about 2000. 2000, and yeah. it obviously wasn't an LS back then, or no, nah, well, had yep. I bought it as a rolling shell. Yep, so, yep, yep. Yeah. And so, how like so you bought it as a shell? Was it painted and everything then, or is that, it, that something you've done? Or no, no, it, it was. It did have a paint job on it, yep. so it's been repainted since then. So. Yep, yep. No, nice, mm. nice. No other cars, like I said, you're, you're you're staying with this one and just working on this one. This one keeps me broke enough. Yeah, true. Yep. It keeps us all broke. That's what we all keep working for. So no, well, yeah. So any other like other plans you've got for the car, or not really? Just keep you doing what you're doing. Oh, hopefully. Run a seven tonight. Sevens. But. All right, we're running for sevens. We're going to yeah. see. Watch, he's not giving away much here. He's, he's very cagey about this. Um, we're all trying to watch and learn. But so the, the other, like I said, how many times you won drag challenge? Uh, three. Three times. And how many years has it been running? Uh, four. That's that's pretty good. So two thousand. We, we didn't enter last year. <laughs> there you go. So two thousand eight. Then you're going to go back? Probably. Yeah. No. Yeah. You sound. Yeah. I'd like go. to go to the states and do drag week. Yeah, yeah. That'd it's, be cool. Yeah, it, would you take your car over if you went? Oh, yeah. yeah. It yeah. wouldn't be the same going over there without it, would it? No. No, I mean, yeah. Well, thanks for talking to us. That's We're right, going to no try worries. and film. Hopefully, you get your time. So, good luck out there, and we'll see how you go. I think it'll turn the tyres, but if it holds, it'll go real yeah. fast. All right, yeah. we're going to watch. We're going to watch. <laughs> Thank All right, you. thanks. <laughs> Job done. Over four. 
I've had it since the start of 2013. 2013. Now, you said it had, when we were talking earlier, you said it had a 327 in it, but Correct. it doesn't anymore. No, no, it has a no. 427. 427. And it's a dart block. Yep. Uh, AFR heads. Yep. Little hydraulic roller. It is a very tidy Nova. Yeah, it's all right. It I'm going to say, I reckon in the last like five years, Novas have got like heaps more popular, do you think? Yeah, I think so. I reckon. I, yeah. I reckon they were sort of like the car that sort of, they were a bit underrated years ago. Yes, And they've yes. got more and more popular. So it's actually cool because your car is different to a lot of the cars. Like when you go to SNL, it's probably one of the only ones there. Yes. Yeah. There no. are a few floating around, but they're few and far between. Yeah, yeah. no, for sure. I went away from the Camaro, yeah. Mustang. Yeah. I mean, they're all great cars, but I wanted to Absolutely. just have my own it's little different. twist. Yeah. yeah. Now, I mention SNL because Dave is, is is a regular SNL attendee. Now, we've obviously lost SNL at BP, but we're all still following Forest Hill. So you will see Dave out and about. Dave, how many Ks have you done since you put that engine in? Because you're out uh, of the The engine's probably two years old, and I've probably got between 40 and 50,000 Ks on it already. Yeah, you and Bright, you're up at Bright. Yeah, Bright, yeah. You're out there, yeah, you're out and about, and you've been racing here tonight. Yes, yes. But we only got... We didn't get many runs in tonight. Two is all I got. It's pretty busy. It's been crazy. And then, you know, a couple of times things get dumped on the track that shuts it down for a while. So yeah. you weren't real 100% happy with what you got? No, 11 0 was the best for the night, but yep. it has gone 1080. But So we know there's uh, better. Yeah, look, there's a little bit more left in it, yep. but it's just why I don't do it enough. I, I choose to cruise yep. more than I choose to race. And it's always the streetcar, drag car trade off. But hey, 1080, even yeah. 11, that's that's great. That's a big car. Like yeah. it's. That's a fair bit of weight, but you know you can do more. And that's the thing, it, it is about consistency, about coming out, doing it over and over again. Yes, that's so, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's awesome. And also your wife, Rachel, we should give her a mention because she's very often out and about in the car scene with she you is. as well. So hello, Rachel, we haven't forgotten you. No. And your son, Connor's into cars as he well. He is, he is, yes. Yep. What's he got? He's got a Corolla. Yeah, he's building a KE30 Corolla. Yep. Uh, with an RB30 turbo, VL, yep. VL turbo engine. Um, yeah, two-speed glide, tubbed, yep. four-linked. Wow, he's really getting Yeah, done with that. he's done all the fab work himself, and he's yep. hoping to make around 1,200 horsepower with it. There you go. And he wants to run into the low eight zone, so we'll see. There you go. So Connor will be, will be wanting to chat to you when you finish. And what's Connor's girlfriend? Because she, she goes to the events. Jo yeah, Georgia. Georgia, she's she's a good car girl as well. She she's is, right she into is. it. She gets out there as well. So yeah. there's a whole family that go out on these events as well. And like I said, and Connor's getting into it as well. So he that's is. awesome to see as well, yeah. the family. He doesn't even have a license, so... <laughs> He's still too young, but he's into it. But he's getting into yeah. it, and that's what we love to see. Thanks for being on no the worries. show, Dave. We do appreciate it, and we know we'll see you out over no. summer as well. Thank you. Thanks for watching another episode of Greased and Gas. We've hoped you've enjoyed the coverage of Friday night off-street racing here, which is Fast Fridays at Calder Park. Uh, next episode's coming up, not really sure at this point, but if you've got a cool event coming up that you would like us to know about, send us a PM, or if you'd like an event covered, you're a club or anything like that, give us a PM as well, because we do cover events as well. Um, make sure you follow the... That rotor again. <laughs> Make sure you follow the Grease and Gas Facebook page and make sure you also get onto the YouTube channel and subscribe on there again. I'm going to keep telling you a hundred times until it actually gets done. But until the next episode, we'll see you then. I'm Sandra Horn, this is Grease and Gas. Hey!